Hello, and welcome to 2230, your source for in-depth analysis and insights into Asian politics and current events. Today, we're delving into a significant development in Singaporean politics, the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, signed by four opposition parties, the National Solidarity Party, NSP, Red Dot United, RDU, Singapore People's Party, SPP, and Singapore United Party, SUP. This non-formal political partnership carries important implications for the political landscape in Singapore, and we'll explore the key aspects of this development. Formation of the Coalition On October 28, 2023, representatives of these four opposition parties gathered at the Copthorne King's Hotel to sign the MOU, marking their commitment to contest together in the upcoming general election. The MOU signifies a collaborative effort to avoid three-corner fights and present a joint manifesto during the election. While each party will retain its identity and branding, they aim to work together for the betterment of Singapore and its citizens. Motivation for an informal partnership The decision to opt for an informal partnership, as opposed to a formal alliance, reflects the comfort these parties have with each other's principles and philosophies. Steve Keir, SBP's Secretary General, emphasized that they want to work together with a shared objective, focusing on the upcoming elections. This approach allows the parties to maintain their individual identities while uniting for the benefit of the nation. Unity of purpose, not branding. Ravi Philemon, RDU Secretary General, clarified that this coalition is not about unifying branding but rather about unity of purpose. Different constituencies have varying needs, and by working together, these parties aim to address the diverse requirements of Singaporeans while contesting the elections for the common good. Openness to collaboration The leaders of the coalition parties have expressed their openness to dialogue and discussion with other opposition parties interested in joining this non-formal partnership. This demonstrates a commitment to collaboration and unity across party lines for the greater good of the nation. Leadership and Role of RDU While there isn't a dominant party or leader within the coalition, RDU has been appointed as the secretariat, responsible for performing administrative roles. This decision reflects the cooperative nature of the partnership, where each party plays a significant role in achieving their collective goals. The significance of this coalition lies in its potential to reshape the political landscape in Singapore. As the next general election is due by November 2025, this partnership will be closely watched by both citizens and political observers. It marks a step forward for opposition parties in Singapore, as they aim to provide a stronger and more unified front against the dominant party. What are your thoughts on this development? Do you believe that this non-formal partnership will have a substantial impact on the upcoming general election? Share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth analysis and updates on Asian politics. Your support is essential in helping us continue to provide you with high-quality content. Thank you for tuning in, and stay informed.